So welcome to this workshop on Floral Design Basics. My name is Cheryl, I'm really glad you're here. In this section, we're going to be discussing the element of line. It's no more than just a visual pathway. What do I mean by that? Your arrangement needs to have movement and direction. We usually start with a focal point. That's just your main flower, maybe even a group of flowers. That's, that's where your eye should land. You want to begin looking at your arrangement at that focal point. The lines of an arrangement is what gives it movement and gives your eye direction to be able to see all of your arrangement. The last video we did was a vertical line arrangement. Your eye went up and down, very dramatic. Today I want to show you a horizontal line design. Your eye is going to go back and forth along a horizontal path. It's gorgeous. Let's get started. So supplies for this project will be a container, of course, it's just a shallow dish. And I have measured, cut, and pre-soaked my oasis. If you're not familiar with how to do this, I did cover it in our last video. I can leave a link in the description box or click up here. I had a couple of people mention that they tried to use scotch tape with their design the last time. This is too wide. It's going to take up way too much of your oasis and it will also break. So I am, it's worth it to hunt down um, through some of your craft stores, this quarter inch waterproof design tape. The next thing you'll need is some good sharp snips. All right, the good stuff. We want some tall, beautiful, um, stems. This is delphinium. You could use snapdragons. You could use larkspur, maybe even gladiolas. For my focal flower, that's one that's going to direct you in. We're going to use these beautiful rose lilies. Then we'll need an accent flower. We're going with these little yellow roses. So sweet. We want to soften this arrangement with some filler flowers. I've got some Monte Cassino asters, some solidago, this is status, and then some other little mini asters. So you'll also need a variety of greens. Um, the variety will add great texture. You'll also need enough to be able to cover your mechanics. That is your oasis, your tape, or even your container. And last but not least, you know, I love sticks. This gives it great movement, a little bit of drama. I'm ready to get started. So before we actually begin making our arrangement, I want to secure my oasis to the container. I just feel so much more comfortable if I want to move it. Um, and your first instinct might to be to go across here and then this way. But what that tape is going to do is actually block you from being able to put some of your flowers in. With a horizontal design arrangement, there's a lot that happens right here on the side, so I want to leave that open. And then I also like to leave my space for that focal flower I was telling you about that's so important. So what we'll actually do is a crisscross on this. I'm going to bring it here to the side and then do it diagonally over my oasis. And then I'll do the same on the other side here and then bring it down. And like before, you know I'm old school, we're going to go all the way around so we don't have any lift of that tape. Let's bring this around quickly here. And there we go. It's secure, we're ready to begin. Okay, to start this arrangement, we're going to be looking at our beautiful delphiniums. And what I want to do is try to find two that are fairly straight and the same size. So looking at them, I like this one. I think I like these two right here. And now let's discuss measurement. What we want is about one and a half times our container. All I'm going to do is lay this across our container. This is one, and then we can come to the center. That is one and a half times. It doesn't really need to be any bigger than this. What we do need to, though, is have a little bit more space 
where we're actually going to put it into the oasis. And we don't want the oasis, um, the stems, to come all the way out the other side. Usually we, about a quarter way in is plenty. So that was the one and a half inch mark. I can remove some of these blooms because they're not going to be necessary. And then about a quarter of the way into your oasis is right here and that's where we're going to cut. So looks like I've got maybe about I don't know, two inches on the stem. Okay, let me show you actual placement. I don't want to put it on the lip. I want to put it right above the lip and we're going to do it as straight as we can right in. There we go, should be pretty firm. What I want, as level as possible, you're looking at uh, it to be parallel to the ground. I don't want it to curve down, I don't want it to curve up. So we're gonna do the same thing with our next piece. All I have to do with this one is measure here. We don't need these blooms. And then we know we need about two inches of stem so we can cut that and now we're going to come over here let's see if I can show you not directly on the lip right above the lip let's see how level I got this baby not too not too bad not too bad and I think because he curls down, maybe I'm gonna move him to the side a bit. All right, we have two more pieces that we're going to place in here. And it's going to be very, very tight on top. Remember, I don't want it going down or up. I want to keep it um, like right, right next to this. And I'm gonna give it maybe about an inch from the end. And again, about two inches to cut. And then right on top, super, super close. Nice, okay. And our other one, we can do the same thing. We spin this so I can show you. Leaving about an inch here. And then cutting about two inches down. And we're gonna go close, 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 close. All right, very nice. All right, let's do our focal flower next. That's going to live right here. We're gonna take our lilies, find a nice big fat bloomed one. These are just beautiful. He's going to land right here. This is what's going to bring you balance. Your eye is going to come right in. And if I wanted it more dramatic, what I can actually do is group them. Super, super tight grouping. Just push that bad boy right in there. And this is going to give it a lot of drama. Move that flower over a little bit. Excellent. You can see now your eye goes whoo, right into the center of that. Let's use some greens and cover our mechanics a little bit next. I'm gonna start with some Salal. It's a very basic green, covers quite a bit. Remember, you don't have to use all of your stem as you see it. You just easily break up little bits. Now when I make this arrangement, what I don't want to do is create a big ball with these two arms jutting out. What I want to keep it it's very clean, very linear. It's a little tapered, they don't like that at all. I'm gonna keep moving around move that to the side. You can see I'm so used to holding 
my snips all day. It's like an extension of my hand sometimes. Just come over here. I don't want to block my flower. Like a little tiny guy there. Okay, that's a pretty good start for covering up some what mechanics. I'll do the back in a moment. Let's discuss accent flowers now. Okay, so next step is we will use some of our accent flowers. We have these beautiful little spray roses. Now remember, I don't want to create this ball. What I want to do is create a little bit more length. So I'll put some here, maybe here, a little bit down here. And remove some of these leaves. And I don't have to use that all of this. Sometimes I feel like if you clean it out just a little bit, it's a little bit more visually appealing. All right, so as you can see, that's gonna create a line that goes right across. I'm gonna do one on the other side. Let's see if I can't find one that's similar. Yeah. Take these leaves off and about two inches in with this tight. Let's bring this over to this other side. Okay, now I don't want it to have wings too badly. We're going to put like some filler flowers up and through here to balance out that yellow. And then use him down here. Now I don't want to put it directly in the center. I want to do it off center a little bit. I find that that is much more, has a much more artistic feel to it. There we go. Squished a petal. There we go. We got him. All right. Now let, let me spin him. We're gonna do some of this background work here. Now let's say you wanted to make this into a centerpiece and not a one-sided arrangement. You could certainly use your other lilies to bring this focus in through here. And a little trick, you can actually open these up by gently giving them a, just a little pop I don't like to pull on them too hard, but they're also amazingly resilient as well. And you can kind of hear that crack where they're separating. There we go. I can bring that up here. And then we have one more little remaining rose. That we can fill in. Bring him tight up and through here. Remember, keeping it low. I don't want this ball effect. I want to try to streamline this as much as possible. And we do need to cover some more of our mechanics here. I'm gonna split that. You can see there's really not much more that we need to do with this. We are going to do some fillers, but you can see how the basic shape of this has already taken place with just a few flowers. I don't want to forget up top. All right, I have some of these neat ones. I was really hoping that somebody would let me know exactly what these flowers were. I could have Googled it. I didn't. I was lazy. So we're going to use these for some interest and coverage as well. A little snip. Remember this one? Just pull it away right along that little vein. Here. Where are you? 
get in there. It wouldn't be the first time I had to yell at flowers to do what I wanted them to do. I always find that these look better when they're grouped a little bit instead of just randomly poking one here, one here, and one there. Let's do this on the other side. I'm going to spin this because I want to be able to see some on this side as well. I'm going to roll it, poke it through. And pop him right in. Actually, I could probably, yeah, that looks good. Ooh, pierced a little bit. There we go. Okay, I also have some fantastic. Italian Ruscus that I want to maybe help elongate this a little bit. I don't want to hide my flower, but I do want to emphasize that length. And now we've got all these little branches that I can cut up and use for more texture and more coverage. You know what? I don't like him sticking up there. He's going, but I can just use him elsewhere. There we go. Let's see, still have some space up there. That's cute. And then down here, yeah. Yeah, that's good, all right. So let's talk about some of our filler flowers. Ooh, look at this, solid day go. This is great, look at all these little legs. I'm gonna be able to do quite a bit with that. So immediately, I'm just going to pick these off I am going to use these. Okay, I want this short. Okay, let's come down here. Do a little matchy matchy. are pretty good. Now I have some purple that I want to put up in through here because I like this blue to run all the way across. All right, these are some little, um, these are asters, Matomoto asters. Let's stick him in here. Now I have a sizable hole. I don't like to do I don't want them to be even. I'm going to put them down here because what happens when you have two round things that are right next to you, your brain has a tendency to make pictures and you end up with things like eyeballs. And we'll tuck him down really, 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 really tight down and through here. I just want him peeking out a bit. They've gotten a little distracting. Okay. So let's look at this other side. I'm going to give this a little bit of a spin. Check and make sure I don't have any major holes here to speak of. I'm going to go right here. And we can bring some of this yellow down. So your horizontal line arrangement can be one sided. Let's see if you were going to be using this uh, for a church function. Let's use some of this little footed status. Bring some of this kind of softy pink in through here. Three colors is usually about all I'll use. Doing this one side would be great for an altar, a mantle, but this would also be fantastic on a food table. No, nope. don't like that at all. Let's see. Let's see if I can manipulate this green a little bit. Sometimes these little statuses look like feet, and I just don't like it, but I like the color. Let me move him again. 
again. He's a crispy little critter. He's making all kinds of noise. Okay, so this is basically the arrangement. I'm just going to go through and make sure I am covering up any major holes that I see here. And when I am done, we will put some sticks in here. I like sticks. I think it adds a lot of drama. I have a little leaf that's right in the way that won't let me get where I want to go with a stem. There we go. And I have that piece of tape. I need to cover that. I need some bigger leaves. That worked out better for me. And you know, sometimes, you know, this kind of, oh, I put this here, I take it out, I put it back in. I mean, that's just part of design. Sometimes you just kind of aren't feeling where you put it originally and just adjust it. All right, we're doing another spin check. The Oasis will also clog the stem. So you'll want to give it a fresh cut to open up that bottom stem to be able to drink. Um, it's just the nature of what Oasis is. It's this great medium that holds water, but it can clog the stem a little bit. So you just constantly open them up again. Um, what do I have? I've got, hmm, I've got a major hole right here, not acceptable. major hole right there. So let me fill them in with some more greens. And I think I've got another little piece of solid egg out that will help balance that out too. I want something else. I don't always get to have what I want. I've got a little bud here. I think that might just give me that visual interest that would be yeah, that works for me. Okay, let's get to some sticks. All right. So what I'm looking for is, I'm, of course, I'm not going to use all of this length, but I love this kind of curly movement. And you could certainly have it jutting out further if you want. I'm just going to kind of bring mine just maybe about um, an inch outside of the actual flowers. So if I measure that, that's where the oasis hit, and then I'll cut right about here. Watch your fingers. I'll bring it around here. So there is room right underneath of those flowers that I can slip him in there. Kind of almost in between, if you will. Then I have another one that's similar to that. Love how that was. Okay, so here I just measure. And same thing, I'm gonna bring him in between. Okay, I think we are, I think we're done. So here is our horizontal line arrangement. As you can see, the eye is drawing you right in through here. This is our focal flower. This is where you start. And then these lines is what allows you to travel across and just take in this whole thing. So where might you use this? I mentioned that this would be a beautiful altarpiece. You could use this on a coffee table. You could use this on your centerpiece for a holiday. But I'd like to show you just something really quick that can change the dynamic of this. All we're going to do is give it a lift. This is a simple candle holder. I'm gonna bring this up, place it on here. Now it's really got some drama and this would be fantastic on a food table. So think of all of your platters of food down here in this great arrangement. Thanks for coming by. I'll see you next time.